Okay, today's the day we're finally going to put some brakes in this BMW. Uh, they are, they need done. <laughs> they, uh, I did notice the front ones were starting to break the rear sensor. So they're, I mean, they're pretty close. Uh, I didn't get OEM BMW pads for this. I ended up getting a kind of higher spec one. I'm not even sure how you say the name, I'll be honest with you. It's Ake Bono or something. I, I really don't know how that's supposed to be pronounced. Um, but yeah, fronts and rears. I also grabbed uh, brake pad wear sensors. Uh, there's one in the, I think it's driver's front and passenger rear. I, th I think that's where they go. Um, yeah, so we're getting these in today. If you've ever done brakes on a BMW or a Mini Cooper or anything like that, you know when you try and take them wear sensors out to reuse them, you break them. Uh, I mean, you just do. That's, they, they're, they're so brittle after all the heat cycles. As soon as you try and like pop them out with a screwdriver, they're destroyed. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna get busy. Front and rear brakes, really not a hard job. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, pop the cap, or pop the bonnet hood, take the cap off the brake reservoir. And keep an eye on that fluid, because I, I did a brake flush in this not that long ago. And I, I so I eyeballed where I thought the fluid should be. So I, I need to keep an eye on that in case we overflow. So, let's get it done. All right, so this is going to be brake pads on a 335i BMW. This is the driver's front. Uh, this, yeah, yeah, this is the one that has the wear sensor in it. Uh, I got new ones, but I'll try and take these out without breaking them. Highly unlikely, but we'll give it a shot. They normally don't want to come out. Uh, so, yeah. Not much going on here. It's pretty much like every other brake setup, right? We've got, well, let me lower my music. There we go, I'm like shouting over the music there. So, there's a, a front uh, anti rattle clip right here. Uh, it's kind of kind of like a big looking thing. Uh, you know, pressure on each side, pressure in the middle, no big deal. Here's our oh, brake pad wear sensor. And then we've got I don't know what we've got because I've never done these before. They're Allen keys. So there's two Allen keys here and here. All right there and there. Uh, they look like a six or a seven mil or something like that. First thing we're going to do is rip that honey rattle clip off. Um, it looks like if we just pop it out in the middle, it should, yeah, there you go. Just, yeah, spring out the middle of it, it'll pop right out, no big deal. Uh, let's see, can we, can we retract, oh we can, can I get two screwdrivers. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and retract the piston from here, just to make it easier. So all I'm doing there is compressing that piston in, right? So it's all, it's all loosey goosey now. Uh, so it saves us doing doing this later. That's it. It's all the way home. So grab two screwdrivers for that, and we need we need to get an Allen key. All right, let's see if it's a seven. Oh, first try. So grab a 7 mil Allen key, just crack those lists. Alright, so the only thing different on this side is going to be the worst sensor. I'm going to try and pop it out, see how we go. Uh, I'm not going to be very gentle with it. Alright, it just goes up here and flips into that box, but normally these break. Ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> The one time I buy new ones, it doesn't break. Uh, well, we'll replace it anyway, since we got a new one. Why not, right? It's a little plastic clip there. 
Come on, that racket. I'll let it hang there for now. Uh, let's see, you run your two 7 mil Allen keys out. not very much meat on them. Uh, the rear ones are much worse, which is why we're doing all four. Okay. Yeah, just pop them out, nothing to it. I'll give you a quick look at what that should look like. Yeah, so that's shove your grease or your brake lube up there on the piston, on the carrier, and then uh, whoa. I'll leave that there for you. Hopefully you can see. Uh, do the inner pad first. It's just easier. This is a rosebud uh, clamp. It's a three-prong clamp, right? Get that inside your piston. Make sure you don't let it slip and come out and rip your bit. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> uh, and then uh, this is going to be your be your outer pad on this side. There you go, make sure you don't get any grease in the, the inside of your pads. And you're pretty much right to put it back together. Hopefully we push that piston in enough. And we didn't. So after you get that out, you're gonna have to compress your piston a little more. I should be able to do it by hand. Oh, there we go. Man up. And make sure that's sitting where your ears are lined up on both sides. the torque specs for these it's a uh, 22 foot binds Bring the tanner back in and uh, put in the new uh, wear sensor. And this probably, that's the best way to do this. Try both ears first, be my guess.
And then uh, maybe a sensor, or wear sensor. That's that. Put the little box back together. And uh, yeah, you're done. That's how you do front brakes on a 335i. Pump your paddle. <laughs> Forget this guy. So I changed all the brakes in this car today, but this is how you change the rear brakes on a 335i BMW. Uh, the reason I changed all of them, my fronts were about three quarters worn. These are about 85, 90% worn. So I said, you know, I'm gonna do it, might as well do them all. So this is a quick video on how to do your rear brakes. They are slightly different from each side. This is the driver side rear. The passenger side rear has a wear sensor. Uh, which I also ordered and replaced uh, and it's a bit of a pain because the, the wear sensor comes off the back of the caliber comes around a bunch of clips ends up coming up to about here oh, like way way up here <laughs> so a bit of a pain you pull this this sign in and off to to get to it uh, so this is the other side right uh, this is the simpler side just because of that uh, so yeah quick video on how to do rear brakes on a 335i uh, super easy job you need a 7 mil Allen key. If I can find it, here it is. <clears throat> uh, pop your little dust covers off and then grab yourself a 7 mil Allen key. Just crack them. The torque on them is 22 foot pounds, so they're not bad. You gotta kind of do this bottom one by feel, it's hard to see. So crack those loose, grab your, this spring retainer. It's a bit of a pain. I did find a fairly easy way to do it though. So if you just grab it here with a pair of vice or a pair of pliers, put your screwdriver in the top and just turn your screwdriver. It pops it right out for you. So I thought that was kind of a, yeah, flathead screwdriver. Just jam it in and turn it. So pretty easy. Of course, that's after dicking around with the other one for like two minutes. I kind of figured that out, right? Uh, these calibers you cannot take one bolt out and fold them up it doesn't work like that on on this BMW you have to pull both pins or, or both bolts you can't, be, can't be cheeky on this one actually you know what before we do that let me just compress that piston a touch just to make everything easier. There we go. So grab your brake hanger. And you can see 
there's not a lot left on that pad. <laughs> so that's that's why we're we're changing them. The other side had uh, had broken through the wear sensor, like the top of it. So it was yeah, you know, that's how close they were. Oh. So yeah, not uh, not much meat left. <laughs> And you're gonna believe this, but I'm out of brake cleaner. Oh, I'll tell you what. So I'm just cleaning these with a wire brush and just blowing all the crap off them. I mean, these aren't rusty or anything. It's not too bad. It's okay to do this, but if these were bad enough, I went to the store and you know got some brake cleaner. I'll, I'll, I'll show you. This. That's all I'm doing right there. And this is a uh, stainless steel brush. I'm gonna get in your way here for a minute. I'm just putting this, this is Permatex brake lip, or Permatex ceramic extreme to the max. <laughs> I'm just putting that anywhere where there's going to be like a metal to metal contact so we don't have any squeaking. No squeakage. Now I'll put a little bit where the ears run too. Just be careful you don't get this on the disc. Rhoda. On your Rhoda. Lovely. All right, so grab your pads. Your eider pad just sits on the, I mean, you could do it either way. I'm doing it this way because my, my brake hanger is in the way of actually putting that pad into the caliber. And then here's a rosebud, uh, rosebud style, like spring clamp. I just pop that in to the inside of the caliber. All right, so once you, uh, you know, pop your other pad in, uh, your other one can sit here and then the whole thing can slide together. So just not, uh, not super hard or anything. This is where you hope you got the piston back far enough. And we just, just did. Grab our Allen key. Start these by hand. Don't uh, don't just go in there with a, any kind of machine or anything. Cross thread this, you'll be a world of hurt. Stop one. It's the bottom one. And just run them in. These are 22 foot pines. So grab your torque wrench. Me too. Ah, stupid lights in Grab your plastic caps. Don't forget those. And then your honey rattle clip. Where'd I put it? There it is. Uh, so uh, grab your honey rattle clip. Don't forget that. Um, these sit like this uh, on the on the car. The other side, I, I had to fight with it a little bit. Uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad, but uh, basically I grabbed it. I set the bottom piece in like that. And then I grabbed the top half of it, got it up around. And that's it. Yeah, hit it a whack. Make sure it's sitting in there nice. Uh, just make sure these little hooks on the holes are in. Yeah, that's important. But yeah, we're good. Uh, 
so that's it. Pump your brakes. Don't forget to pump your brakes. <laughs> that's rear brakes on a you know, 335 IBMW. Mm, pretty simple job. I mean, that's, I don't know, five minutes aside, six minutes aside, something like that. Yeah, not bad. Uh, what time is it? I came out here 45 minutes ago and I've done front and rears and replaced both wear sensors. So, and that's recording it on the YouTube, or for the, on the camera, right? That adds a tremendous amount of time. <laughs> um, but yeah, really not a hard job at all. I'm gonna take this car out and bed in these brakes. I'm probably gonna do, you know, 10, 15 miles. Nice, easy braking. I just kinda bed them in and then, uh, yeah, should be good to go. And yeah, that's it. Rear brakes on a 335i. Done.